thanks for joining me on this brand new review. We're going to talk about the Deadpool costume for a great cosplay. Uh, we're going to talk about the mask. I just I made some adjustment with foam and a paint job. We're going to talk about the shooter pairs from Alistair Studio. They are right in the good place now and they are painted. We're going to talk about the weathering job on the suit and the brand new back holder scarbots for the sword which is only fixed to my suit with velcros and that's very cool the mask very important thing uh, the shape I wasn't very happy with this shape so I put some piece of foam under the fabric but above the, the face shell look at this here it is oh shit it's a little bit, uh, it's some um, kind of foam with adhesive and it's, uh, it's a band I put three pieces on each side here, here and here and uh, the shape is more rounded and that's what I, I was looking for and then I had, a, I had a paint job a lot of black everywhere and uh, more over on the suit and right there there is a very very helpful video from Airfet I'm not gonna do a, a remake for this video because this uh, his video is very good it's a very good tutorial to uh, how to give your Deadpool suit a two chop I'm gonna put the link in the description of my video and uh, just check it out because it's it's very complete it's uh it was very helpful for me and uh and as you can see the the job is not bad and it, it's very easy it's, it's my it was my first time to uh, to do such a thing and uh it, and it, i take a lot of pleasure <laughs> that's important so acrylic my kids uh console a uh, little bit um, of water, of course, and then uh, this to clean it. So you take some uh, black paint on the suit, and then you brush. And that's very cool. And if you want it more uh, uh, dark, you repeat the the process. So it's very easy. So I put some black on uh, the suit. And then I put some silver and gray on uh, the black parts of the suit. And on the pads, <laughs> on the knee pads, I put a little bit of brown and white and gray. The shoulder pads, they are glued, but I've made an horrible, horrible mistake. At the first time I've used, uh, I used the uh, a polymer uh, glue and uh, it didn't work at all uh, I wait like one hour with the suit on and the shooter pads very strapped to, 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 to make the clothes to me during the adhesive uh, process and uh, after an hour it was it was a disaster a nightmare it all fell down so now uh, I have uh, this one. Oh, I'm going to it. Yeah, this one. It's a uh, super glue, very quick. It's from Verse, and it's the one um, used by Illustrator Studio. As you can see, my swords are in this black order. It's not very to grab, but we can do this. And it's only holding with Velcros. And the best thing is, I've put it on my own, alone, on my suit. You just need a mirror, of course, uh, if you can't see you, it's very hard. But just look at the mirror, look your back, and then 
you put it and that's perfect. It's very light. I find it on Etsy. I would have been done with it. As you can see. And now hop. That's very cool. Remember my food if you have seen my previous review. Need the box cover. The back holder for the scarball, the vehicles, and here is some vehicles on my back too, of course. Next, goodbye, motherfucker.